Hi, my name is Shireen, this is Carleen, and this is Joshua. Uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about still pan history. So the still pans, it all began in the late 18th century and it originated in a place called Trinidad and Tobago. That's also the first thing that I would like you to remember, the still pans were invented in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, back in the 18th century, African slaves that were brought to Trinidad, they used African drums to communicate with one another. Now, these drums were taken away from them. So what they did to improvise, they got bamboo sticks and they made them into four different heights, put holes in them to get different sounds, and they created what we call tambu bamboo bands. Now, these bands, they went on, they still exist today, but moving now into the, about 100 years ago, these bands, through experimentation with the tambu bamboos, they used to pick up the oil barrel drums that were being left by soldiers from World War II. And they would pick up these drums and they would bang them and they started to get different sounds. And over time, it developed into the steel pan. Now, one of the first kinds of steel pans, it was actually called a steel drum. This is one here. And it is called a dudu. And the reason they call it that is because one note sounds like dud and the other one sounds like du. So in a moment, we're going to demonstrate the doodle to you to give you an idea of the original steel drumming sound. But before we do that, the few free facts to remember about the steel pan is one, they're invented in Trinidad and Tobago. Two, they were created out of the tambu bamboo bands. And three, they were invented in the 1930s. So here is an example of a steel drum. And we're also going to add some percussive sounds to give you an idea of the authentic kind of steel drumming sound. there are three different sections you have what we call front line the middle section and base now this one that Joshua was playing in the introduction is called a tenor steel pan and on the tenors you have a skirting and the longer the skirting the lower the sound the higher the skirting the higher the sound so this tenor is one of the highest and it sings the voice so we're going to bring it to the camera so you can have an idea of what it looks like on the inside And as you can see, all the notes are different sizes. The bigger the note, the lower the sound, the smaller the note, the higher the sound. Thank you, Joshua. And over here, Carlene is playing a lower steel pan, because as you can see, the skirting is longer. And what she does is accompany the tenor with either harmonies and chords and what we call in steel pan, strumming. An example of this one. And over in the corner next to Joshua, we have what we call a double guitar. And this is a background instrument getting even lower in sound. An example of this one. And in fact, while Carlene's making her way to this one, just to give you an example, this one is called a double guitar, but you have ones that are called a treble guitar, where there's three of them played by one person, or a four pan cello. Four steel drums played by one person. They're all from the background family, what we call the middle section, but they all have different sounds. Thank you. And in the very back, we've got an example of a bass. Now, this is simply a five note bass. If, uh, if you've seen a steel band before, you'll be accustomed to seeing the four oil barrel drums. There could be up to six of them played by one person, could be up to 12 of them. But we just have a single one here to give you an example of the full range of a steel band. Thank you, Joshua. So these guys will play for a few minutes, then you'll see me come back in. First, I will clap the rhythm, and I'll also use the tambu bamboo to do the rhythm. The main thing is that you get the rhythm, and remember, it doesn't matter where you play. Okay, guys, so we are gonna do our first rhythm. This is rhythm number one. And the rhythm is, we can say it together. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. See if you can clap it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right, 
I'm gonna add that bamboo. Feel free to use a broomstick or anything in your home.
enjoying the music just as before the band are going to start to play and then i will come in and introduce the third one. So now we're going to learn our final rhythm i will clap it first when you're ready join in Guys, I really hope you enjoyed our interactive shop. So now it is your turn to send us some videos of what you have done. And do not forget our hashtags, which is Yukon Carnival Workshop and hashtag Yukon Drumming Week. Bye-bye.